We start with big breaking news in the Premier League. A few managerial vacancies at the moment, but one has been filled this morning. We can head to West Ham and join James Savundra. Hi there, James. What's the news? Good morning, Hayley. Well, earlier this week, we brought you the news that West Ham had reached a full agreement with Yulan Lopetegui to become their new head coach. And we can now confirm that West Ham have appointed the Spaniard, the former Real Madrid and Sevilla manager. He's been out of work since leaving Wolves before the start of last season. He's had plenty of offers since then. He turned down an opportunity in the Saudi Pro League. He's had conversations with the likes of Crystal Palace and Nottingham Forest early on this season and also held talks with Bayern Munich about replacing Thomas Tuchel at the end of this season, but he's chosen West Ham. What James of West Ham had to say about Lokotabi's, Lokotabi's uh, appointment then? Yes, that video we just heard came to us from West Ham TV, but the club were absolutely delighted with this appointment. They said the appointment marks the next step in West Ham's new and growing football strategy. And there's some words from West Ham's joint chair, David Sullivan, too. He said, I'd like to welcome Yulin to the club and wish him every success in his new role. We believe this appointment will ensure a strong opportunity to build on the positive progress made in recent seasons, helping the club to move forward in the direction that aligns with our ambitions. Now, Tim Stighton, the club's technical director, he led the search for a new head coach, and here's what he's had to say. Eulen was a standout candidate to become our head coach, and I'm personally delighted that we have chosen to work together. His career shows that wherever he has coached, he's improved players and teams, and we're looking forward to seeing him work with our squad. Eulen lives and breathes football. He thinks deeply about the game. He's tactically astute, and he's shown he can adapt to work in different leagues in different countries with national teams. And in each situation, he's shown his outstanding quality. So after four and a half years of David Moyes, Julian Lopetegui is new head coach at West Ham. I mean, there was a lot of clamour, wasn't there, from, from West Ham fans for, for something different to David Moyes. I've just seen the, the, the tweet from West Ham, say hello to the new head coach. Welcome to London, Julian Lopetegui, with a lovely picture of him. And I've been scrolling through a lot of the comments. I think a lot of them positive. Welcome to London. Come on, you irons. A couple of, of, of negatives, but they seem pretty happy with this decision from the, the few that I've seen so far. Do you think they've got what they want, James? Yes, Hayley, West Ham fans have been expecting this. We've been reporting it since Monday and we understand an agreement was in place earlier on this month as well. So West Ham fans have had time to, to get used to it and the idea of Yulin Lopetegui becoming their new head coach. I think there are some concerns about the playing style. One of the main reasons that some fans wanted a change in manager is because they wanted a more progressive attacking style of football. Now, what Yulin Lopetegui will bring will be an attacking front foot style of football where they'll look to control possession. But I think fans may be feeling slightly underwhelmed because of what they've seen at West Ham. But what Yulin Lopetegui will point to is that he took over Wolves when they were bottom of the Premier League table. He led them to safety, a 13th place finish. They won 10 of their 27 matches. And he'll argue they had to be pragmatic because he had to steer them away from relegation trouble. He had to be adaptable with a squad which wasn't particularly well equipped for the Premier League at that point in time. And he was appointed when Wolves were in a really difficult situation. But then West Ham fans, on the flip side, will look at what he did at Sevilla. And it was incredible the way he rebuilt and re-established his reputation after his position at Spain, where he was unbeaten in 20 matches, but lasted only a few weeks at Real Madrid before he was sacked. At Sevilla, he won the Europa League in 2020. Three top four finishes securing Champions League football, Sofia. That is what West Ham fans will be hoping they'll be witnessing here in the coming years. Right. What is on the agenda for him going forward now then? Well, interestingly, he's been appointed as a head coach rather than a manager and he'll officially begin work on the 1st of July. He's going to work closely with the man we just heard from, Tim Stighton, the technical director. And we understand Stighton will have even more say and even more control when it comes to recruitment and transfers as West Ham moved towards a more European-based model. But Lopetegui is completely happy with that. He dealt with that as severe under Monkey, who's now at Aston Villa. So he's used to working as a head coach, whereby a lot of the recruitment and decisions on transfers are made by a sporting director or a technical director. When David Moyes returns to the club, in 2019, it was under the agreement that he would have a significant say when it came to recruitment 
and transfers. But already Tim Stuyton, who joined last summer, we've seen the influence he's had with some of the players he's been able to bring in. The likes of Mohamed Kudos, who was so brilliant for West Ham this season. Now, Julian Lopetegui will hope that West Ham are able to keep the likes of Lucas Paquetar, Jared Bowen and Kudos, who he mentioned just then. But that will be out of his control for him. He'll be looking forward to meeting the players for the first time on the 1st of July, head of their pre-season tour in Florida. One of the games there they take on his former side, Wolves. Ooh. James, thank you very much indeed.